What is up everybody? It is time for our 2024 Mustang GT to get its first oil change. And while I was about to do it, I was like, wait a minute, let's do a video on this. I'm sure there's a couple people out there that don't know how to change their oil on their 2024. And I will say, if you watch this video, you'll be able to change your oil on your S550, your Ford Bronco, your F150, many of vehicles, it's realistically all the same. Uh, as far as the oil change goes, it's pretty simple. You can actually buy everything you need on cjponyparts.com. So you get all the oil for your vehicle and we have multiple oil kits and you'll also get your oil filter. Now, as far as the oil, we are going to be using a Ford OEM full synthetic 5W30. And then our oil filter, which you can see down here, which is an FL500S, which if you had an S550 and you now own an S650, it's the exact same oil filter. Now, as far as this process goes, it's pretty simple. We just have to get our Mustang up in the air. Now, if you don't have a lift, you can pull this up on ramps or use a jack and jack stands, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Before we put the S650 up in the air, we're gonna pop the hood and then take off our oil cap. Something I always like to do with the oil cap is place it right here on the hood latch. That way you can't forget it when you go to close the hood. Now we're gonna start taking out all these seven millimeter bolts here to start removing this lower panel. After you get all the seven mil bolts out, you're gonna have these three plastic clips that come across the top here. Pop these guys out. Once you have those clips out, you can just pull the front part of this shield down. And then now we have access to our oil filter. Now before I crack my drain plug loose, I'm just going to crack the oil filter just a little bit. That way it relieves some pressure. I don't want it to be leaking oil down. I just want to crack it a little loose. So right there will do. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take off our drain plug and start draining the oil. Now we're gonna crack the drain plug loose. It's gonna be a 15 millimeter socket for this guy. Nope, I failed. I got oil on the finger. It's usually a fun game to try to figure it, to try to get the drain plug out without getting oil on yourself. I believe that's pretty hard. All right, now we're just gonna let this drain out completely. In the meantime, you can clean off your hands and your drain plug a while. And while your oil's draining out, it's always a good idea to inspect the oil too. You wanna know if your motor is happy and healthy. Now, obviously this is a new car, so I don't really have too much fear, but it's always a good idea to, you know, put your finger in it or even put like a coffee filter down in here just to make sure there's no metal in your oil. Again, obviously this is a brand new car, so I'm not expecting any of that. So I'm not too worried about checking the oil, but for some of those guys out there with an older car or with a car that makes a lot more power than factory, it's always a good idea to see what your oil looks like. We are pretty much out of oil at this point, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a drain plug back in it after I cleaned it up. Now I'm not gonna tighten this down all the way yet. I'm just gonna snug it up so we stop having oil dripping out. And then we'll come right back to this after we change our oil filter and go over the torque spec of the drain plug. As you can see, our oil filter is in a terrible spot. If you go to take this off, you're gonna have oil leaking all over the subframe and the power steering rack. So there's a couple things you can do. You can grab a piece of cardboard and set it up here so it drains out into your drain pan or aluminum foil. Or what I like to do is I take a bag and I put it all the way up around the oil filter and then we just start loosening it. As you can see, all the oil is now going into our bag. And I'm just gonna let that drain for a second here. 
And this just comes down to personal preference. Like if you rather use cardboard, please go ahead and do so. I've just been using the bag since the S550 and it's worked pretty well. Got a little bit of oil drippage on the front cross member here, but not as bad as it normally would be because if you didn't use the bag, all of that oil was coming out onto your power steering rack and front subframe. So I got our new oil filter here, and before I go to put it on, you're gonna wanna lube the O-ring here. Now what I like to do is, since I use the bag, I just put it to the inside of the bag, spin it around a couple of times, because the entire bag is filled with oil. Make sure it's nice and lubricated, because if you don't lubricate this, what ends up happening is the oil filter gets super tight onto the threads, and then it's a nightmare to get off. And when putting these on, they just need to be hand tight. Now what I like to do is, so I'll grab a rag, so as you can see, it's a little oily. Grab a rag. Grab a rag. Just use that to grip it. Make sure you're cleaning everything up when you're done too. Now I know a lot of people like to use paper towels and whatnot to clean all the oil off. I like to use a microfiber because it actually cleans it. Now we'll just grab some brake clean, spray this area off to make sure there's no oil residue anywhere, which looks like we're pretty clean already, but still gonna do that. And then we will torque our drain plug. Now we're gonna torque our drain plug Factory recommends 15 to 20 foot-pounds. After you tighten your oil filter and your drain plug, you can go ahead and put everything back together on the underside. So now it's time to fill the Mustang up with oil. We're gonna be using this 5W30 full synthetic from Ford. And if you purchase the oil change kit from CJ Pony Parts, it'll come with the exact amount of oil that you need for your vehicle. Make sure all the oil is drained out of your funnel here. I like to cut my hand under it sometimes. Make sure you're not getting oil all over the engine bay. Set it aside and don't forget your oil cap. And if you listened to me in the beginning of the video, if you forgot it, you wouldn't have been able to close your hood. All right, now we're gonna reset the oil life and then check our oil. So I'm just gonna turn the accessories on and by doing that, I'm just gonna keep my foot off the brake and push our start button here. Once the screen turns on, go to your settings. You're gonna see vehicle here. You're gonna scroll down once you get into that vehicle menu. And as you can see here, our old oil life was 23%. So it was definitely ready to be changed. And now we're just gonna press and hold. Now our reset is complete and our oil life is 100%. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start the car here for about 15, 20 seconds. That way I let that oil really get through the motor and then we'll check our dipstick to make sure the level is correct. Now that we let our Mustang warm up a little bit, we can get an accurate reading on our dipstick. On the Coyotes, the dipstick's always on the driver's side. Pull it out. Wipe it off, put it back in. As you can see, our oil level is perfect here. And the way to figure that out is by looking at the cross hatches here. You want the oil level to be just above it or just right on top of it. That's how you know your oil is full. Well, that is a wrap for today's video. We got our oil changed on our 2024 Mustang GT. And hopefully this helped you guys out too with changing yours. 
Now, as far as changing oil on any vehicle goes, this is gonna be one of the easiest things you can do when working on a vehicle. So even if you've never done this before, definitely go and try and do it because it's a good way to learn how to work on a car. And honestly, maintenance is the most important thing to do with cars to keep them happy and healthy for a long time. So you're already off to a great start if this is your first way of working on a car. Now it is time to drop a gear and disappear, but we'll catch you on the next one.